Hello dear visitor. My name is Jurt, the owner and content creator of the YouTube channel Film Noir. It is my intention to entertain you as much as possible with films from the 20th century. For today, I would like to bring to your attention the movie The Death Head Virgin. You will do me a great favor by hitting the like and subscribe button on my channel. Thank you very much for that. See you at the next movie. The Death Head Virgin, released in 1974, is an American drama, horror movie. Directed by, Norman Foster. Norman Foster, born Norman Foster Heifer, on December 13, 1903. Died July 7, 1976, was an American actor, film director and screenwriter. He directed many Charlie Chan and Mr. Moto films, as well as projects for Orson Welles and Walt Disney. Stars in this movie are Diane McBain as Janice Cutter, Larry Ward as Frank Cutter, and Jock Gaynor as Larry Alden. Co-starring is Kim Ramos as Mauro Princess. Watch the film and experience how the beautiful Kim can make you shudder. Announcing the arrival of flight 171 from Hong Kong at gate number 3. How long has it been since you were in Manila, Mrs. Carter? Almost a year. I'm sorry you had to return under these circumstances. I know what a shock it must be to you. Such a ghastly story. Such a horrible accident. Poor Frank. Yes, for both of them. Yes, of course, Mr. Alden, too. The cable was such a shock, I haven't been able to think very clearly. Naturally, I, I understand. But weren't you a good friend of Mr. Alden? Oh, no, not really. 
He was an old Navy buddy of Frank's who showed up in Manila just about the time that Frank and I... Well, just about the time that I decided to return to the States. The police have closed the case here and in Mindanao. I don't care what the police say. I just can't believe that about Frank and that ridiculous story. Now, you and I know, Mr. Kapunin, that things like that simply don't exist. I agree. But after you've heard the whole story, it's very hard to explain it otherwise. In the past week, the police and the Philippine consulate have taken very detailed statements from everyone involved. We've reconstructed every detail correctly, but logically, everything cannot be explained. Buried treasures and dead princesses? Mr. Kapunin, I think you've been in this heat too long. You won't change your mind and stay on for a few more days. It would facilitate matters. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm catching that plane for Hong Kong in three hours. I'm not staying here any longer than I have to. I'll sign the power of attorney for you, and when you've disposed of things, you can send me whatever there is to San Francisco. As you wish. Aside from the insurance policies, there's really nothing else. Uh, their equipment would just about cover their outstanding debts. Did you say the insurance policies? Yes, I assumed you knew. There is no next of kin for Mr. Alden. His beneficiary was your late husband. To the unusual circumstances, we have decided to make it as, as quiet as possible. I understand. Beloved son wishes all men to save and to be brought to the knowledge of the truth. We pled with thee, O Mother of God, for the conversion of all those who walk in the darkness of error. Who's the pretty girl? Her name was Maria. She was a, a friend. She was down there doing most of it. And the old man is Sebastian. You must remember Sebastian. He was with your husband for many years. Yes, I remember Sebastian. He was uh, there when all this nasty business started. Does anyone really know what happened? I'm afraid, Mrs. Carter, you, like us, would have to draw your own conclusions. They had just finished a salvage job in the Moro Gulf, and Alden had flown back to Manila. But your husband and Sebastian would sail the boat back. One day, while diving, your husband sighted an old wreck and swam down to investigate.
Hey, Sebastian! Look what I found. An old wreck. Looks like a Spanish man of war. Well, what do you think? Are they worth anything? Spanish coins. Yes, very old. Sulu pearls. Very good pearls. There's some old markings on the ship, but I couldn't make them out. But the date was 1850. 1850? Maybe part of Akia's fleet. Akia? Who's that? He destroyed the Moro fleet at the Battle of Olo. He pillaged their city and took away all the treasures of the Moro pirates. But then a hurricane came and scattered his fleet before it could return to Manila. Hey, maybe we're on to something, Sebastian, old buddy. I'll go down and have another quick look. Recheck the position. Now, you get out the charts. When we get back in tonight, I'll call Larry in Manila. Larry can research it and then fly back down here. Just a minute.
Mary. Oh, yeah? Listen, I'm glad I got a hold of you, old buddy. I found an old wreck. It's only down about 50 feet. We can work at the scuba deer. It's a man of war, dated 1850. Coins, a uh, few pearls, and good ones, too. Sula pearls. It's worth checking out. Oh, yeah, 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 old buddy. I'll, I'll, I'll check that out. I'll, I'll go over to the museum first thing in the morning and check that out. You know, it could be one of Sebastian's old native legends. That's why I want you to check it out. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm running a little short. Um, how much on the fishing boat salvage job? Oh, yeah, well, uh, well, a little, a little problem with that. Um, uh, registration, uh, ownership, uh, uh, Li uh, liability. Uh, it might be three, four months before we see any of that cash. Hey, did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. Okay, I'll start some digging. If I don't hear from you, I expect you the day after tomorrow. I, too, know some native legends. Why, you little darling, you're the biggest legend of them all. Checks out, he'll fly down the next day. It will check out. We don't look so glum about it. Anyway, we need the money. Besides, we won't get anything from that salvage job for three or four months. I don't want that kind of money. It can bring a lot of evil with it. Um, Carla, get me another drink, will you? You drink too fast. Well, let me worry about it. This is Sebastian. Don't talk that way in front of other people. If they put two and two together, we'll have half the damn island out there. And the government. Remember, they want 50% of everything they consider a national treasure. And on top of that, I have a sock L, whatever their names are, on my ass. Now, if you don't want that money, I do. And if it's down there, I'm damn well going to get it. You know, they make up those wild fairy tales to keep people like you from looking for it. It's true. I believe it. I have lived many years, and I have had very little education. I can feel evil. I feel it in the air, in the water near the wreck, and in that. It belongs to her. You should not have touched it. It has strong magic. Well, not too strong. She can get all those irons for a hundred years. True. But now she's free. isn't she? Her name is Laila, the last virgin princess of the Moros. Traditionally, they became princesses at 14 and were sacrificed to Allah at 21. Why does she wear a mask? Once chosen, it was taboo for anyone to gaze on her face. Only Allah could see her face when she was sacrificed to him. The Moro brand of religion was a strange mixture of ancient pagan beliefs and a superficial adherence to Muslim symbols and names. This particular tribe had many unique beliefs, among them that their power was dependent on an unbroken line of virgin princesses. When the Spanish captured Laila, along with the Moro treasure, it was the end of Moro power. Here is Valo, the capital of the old Moro Empire in the Sulu archipelago. Aquia's fleet would have followed this route back toward Manila. However, the typhoon struck here in the middle of the Sulu Sea and scattered the ships all through this area. 
And this is where Frank discovered the wreck. As you can see, the location is very possible. <laughs> I see that. They were a loose connection of various tribes, each with different customs. Leila's tribe came from Malay, known as the Menang Kabao. They held women in a very high position. Property, ownership, family name, all passed through the mother. The original women's live. <laughs> Here are some copies of their religious and authority symbols. The most important is this amulet. The virgin princesses all wore the original of this. And it's supposed to have magical powers for both good and evil. What does the writing say? It is Arabic, a rather old and rare dialect. It says that the wearer is protected by Allah and serves only one God. The wearer serves Allah, performing his will as it is revealed. And with the magic amulet, all things are possible, huh? <laughs> you may be joking, Larry, but that is the moral belief as far as the power of the original amulet. Tell me, uh, this tribe, were they all wiped out by uh, Makia? No. A few of them still exist. A bit fanatical. They call themselves the Sakal Bar, the Seahawks. They're patiently waiting for the return of Laila, recovering the treasure and regaining their lost power. They believe that Laila still lives in some sort of dormant state, waiting until the time is propitious. And then what? Well, I don't know. The Sakal Bar has many secrets, legends. They claim they will recognize the signs. If they should believe you and Frank are on to something, they could be quite troublesome. Why, well, uh, trust you won't say anything about this, Doc. If we are on to something, your museum will have a larger collection of moral artifacts. Tell me, has uh, Frank done any more diving or investigating? As a matter of fact, he's uh, moving down on the beach, setting up camp near the wreck. What happened to your boat? Oh, nothing. But for some strange reason, Frank wants to stay down on the beach. I'll be flying down tomorrow. Good luck. Kashin has a great eye for the bird. Better. Yeah, his wage is on the Good Mr. Aldin. How are you? As a matter of fact, I've been trying to reach you. I know, I know. Just salvage invoices. Don't worry, everything will be taken care of. I want you to meet these two beautiful girls. This is my secretary, Gina, and this is one of the top fashion models, Maria Muchato. This is Miss Larry Alden, a <laughs> very dangerous man. Hello. Mr. Alden and I have met before, but it seems he doesn't remember me. That is quite obvious, but I think he will now. By the way, Alden, what bird did you choose? Um, um, Antonio's. Pity, wrong bird. 
Won't you join us? Maligo. Hali kayo, samahan niyo ko. Sige na, maligo tayo. Ay, ayaw niyo ako na lang. and uh, we'll talk about it later. I do not know what you think of an old man in superstitions, but ever since he put on that amulet, Oh, come on, Sebastian. We're talking about Frank. Yes, but the Menangabao practice black magic. Soul catching, possession. You do not know of these things, but I do. My ancestors spoke of these things and avoided the sackle bar. Now, look, I don't want to hear any more of this gobbledygook. Now, I don't know what he's gotten himself into, but he'll come back when he gets out of it. But those footprints... Sebastian! Gentlemen, we were informed last night that found the body only this morning. You must understand this is a very deserted area. Yes, of course. She died by strangulation, not drowning. But what puzzles me is the business, the hair. What do you mean? It was all cut off, close to the scalp, almost like uh, she was scalped. If you don't mind not saying any more about this. I understand. Uh, Chief Quasar? Maria? My pleasure. Well, Mr. Alden, I must go. But uh, please, if you notice anything out of the usual, you will inform me. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Okay. Oh, uh, could you give my man a lift into town? My pleasure. Good day. Keep your mouth shut about those old stories and see if you can find Frank. What did he want? Just asking about some salvage permits. I'm hungry. Yeah, so am I, honey. Uh, go carve those birds. Mr. Cutter. Mr. Cutter. Mr. Cutter. Sebastian. Waiter. Yes, sir. Beer. Are you feeling all right? Great, great.
Mr. Alden is out of the camp, waiting for you. Larry, here already? He's been out of the camp all day. Funny, I, I just talked to him in Manila. Just today, just now, you, you remember. But that was two nights ago. Are you sure there was a ship? You said there was. You brought us some pearls and that amulet you're wearing. I think I did. I... But the wreck. It was old. You spoke of a barred door. And a skeleton with long black hair. Yeah. No. Not a Something else. But what? <laughs> Why can't I remember? It's the amulet. Remove it. Remove it now before it's too late. Mr. Cato, please, listen to me. Will you be going to the camp tomorrow? Will you be diving tomorrow? Dive. Yeah. What's the matter with Frank tonight? I hope it's not what I fear, Carla. I think he's crazy. Early this morning, he comes to my house, eats, sleeps all day, and tonight he doesn't even know me. He's crazy. You know Mr. Alden a long time? No, a very short time. Why? We've been many places together, Mr. Alden, Mr. Cutter, and myself. Always there are girls, different girls, many girls. Some are nice, some not so very nice. But always they go. Sometimes the nice ones, they're very sad. 
Are you trying to give me a lesson? No, it is not my business to do so. That's right, Sebastian. It's none of your business. Nothing. Not a sign of the damn thing. Sebastian, are you sure this is the area? This is the area. It was not too far from shore, but it is hidden in coral beds. Yeah, I know. You can hide an entire fleet down there. Larry, when are we going to go ashore? I'm getting hungry. We haven't had anything since breakfast. So on the map, what did Frank say about the map? He said the map he marked is missing. There's still no sign of him? No, not since you left him last night in town. I can't figure out what the hell is going on down here. And don't give me any more of that curse and taboo crap. I'm hungry. We'll try again in the morning. Well, we've got company. The radical plot has returned. Ah, there you are, old buddy. We're waiting for you. Where the hell have you been? Me? I've been around and waiting for you. I got here yesterday, Frank. Yesterday? You got here yesterday? I can't remember a thing about yesterday. I'm, I must have really tied one on. I... You look rotten, man. What's happening? What's going on? I don't know. I Just the heat. Wiped out. Maybe, you know, just uh, got a hold of some batch of bad rot gut. A uh, little hair of the dog. That'll, that'll fix me up. Oh, yeah. Maria, my elusive partner. Oh, have a drink, Maria. In fact, let's everybody have a drink and celebrate. Let's have a little party. Larry? What about the wreck, Frank? And the maps? We can't find a thing. I've been diving all day nothing. Now, that's what I came back down here for, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll, uh, I'll get to that tomorrow. Huh? I mean, I'll, I'll put all the pieces together. Uh, what do you say, old buddy?
still got Stanley, kid. I'll give you that. Why don't you wake up Frank? We're going to get something to eat. Go on. You're as cold as ice, honey. Don't you have any blood in your veins? Americans, uh, it's so late. Only what we've been drinking. What can I do for you? There has been another murder last night. Another girl? How did you know? Well, I didn't, Doc. Well, it just figures up. A pattern. Exactly. And I fear there will be more. If my informants are correct, there is an ancient fanatical religious group who are waiting for the return of the legendary princess. I've heard of the legend. But there is much that is only known to the Sakel Bar. They believe that the Princess Laila, when captured, was put into chains and raped by the Spaniards. And therefore, seven virgins must die to placate Allah, and their heads shaved, and their hair taken to Laila as a symbol of a sacrifice. Surely you don't believe that. It matters not what I believe. What is important what the Sakel Bar believes and there are people who are susceptible and influenced by them. Mr. Alden, what are you and your friends exactly doing here? Just on vacation. Far from the madding crowd. Out of character. I suspect your friend found something, something that has aroused the Sak al Bar, and these murders are being committed to fulfill that legend. Then why don't you arrest them? Like in your country, I cannot arrest a group without substantial proof. However, I have a request. Leave Basilan. If, as you say, you have no business here, vacation elsewhere. What have we done? Perhaps nothing. But before you arrived, Basilan was a peaceful town. And I wish it to return to that same state. By the way, I noticed you have a box of dynamite in your cap. Yeah, sure. We uh, used a clear call from Rex. Mr. Alden, where is your friend, Mr. Cut? Uh, he's uh, sleeping out of camp. He's flaked out for the night. I hope so. I sincerely hope so. Good night, and uh, enjoy your dinner.
Maria? Oh, Larry, it's you. When did you get back? But I thought... Well, then who? What? What are you talking about? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, well, what are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? Well, I was uh, looking for you. When I woke up, you were gone. And your friend was out cold. So I took a walk. What's so strange about that? Nothing strange about that. Come on, we'd better get back. How long have you been gone from camp? About an hour, I guess. Is there anything to eat? What are you looking for? Nothing. Now listen, I... I've got to go back into town. You stay here. No, I want to go, too. I haven't had anything to eat. You stay here. I'll bring you back something. But I don't want to stay here alone. Best place for you, baby. I'll be back soon.
I want you to take the jeep into town. Get Sebastian out here with a boat and hurry. I can't. Now, I on, just Marie. can't. There's no time. Now move. It's no use. He's gone. They've taken him away. Sebastian. But you've been diving for hours. And I'm going to stay here till I find him. If you're too scared, go in on the beach with the girl. Oh.
I told you, I told you, it is she. There is only evil here. Never mind about that now. Lower that net so we can pick up Frank's body and get the hell out of here. She will destroy us all. We must leave here. Sebastian, lower that net. That was the last he saw the boat, or of it. The boat, as you know, was found out of gas, several miles offshore. Alden obviously was scooped up in the moving net. Remnants of his diving gear were found in it. Sebastian managed to swim ashore, sent a girl to town for help. He kept a vigil on the beach for three days. Nothing ever turned up. Mrs. Cutter. Sebastian. I'm most sorry for what has happened. Thank you very much, Sebastian. I know that you and Frank were very close, and I'm very appreciative of what you've done. Goodbye, Mrs. Cutter. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Kapunan. Come, Maria. 
Mr. Kapunin, any equipment that's left over after accounts are settled, I'd like you to give it to Sebastian. I think Frank would have liked that. That would be a nice gesture, Mrs. Cutter. I will see to it. And uh, what about Maria? Uh, she will be all right. It was a terrible experience. She was in love with Alden. But life goes on. It's a very strange story, Mr. Kapunin. Taxes the imagination. You'll forgive me if I forget the part about the virgin princess, etc. I'd be hard put explaining that to anyone. As a matter of fact, we did not include this in the official report. While many people may believe it, uh, I don't think your State Department would. <laughs> I cannot persuade you to stay for a few more days. No, I'm sorry. To be blunt, I have no further interest in the matter. To the airport, then. We're right on schedule. Yes? Notify the main office that I'm coming back in. No, no, no point waiting around. Right. Mrs. Carter has departed Manila on flight 511. That wraps it up. Case is closed. Mm. What about Maria Machado? She's been under surveillance, of course, but has returned to her usual haunts. Investigation turns up nothing. Face it, Chief, it's a dead end. An interesting theory, though. Yes, just a theory. In my mind, the case will never be closed. In the end, the question mark. We know that Cutter killed the girl. But after that, who killed who, where, when, and how? Obviously, it was not the Virgin Princess. The legend was resurrected to impress Sebastian, the superstitious old man who told everybody in town. Well, my order is to close the investigation. The main office is satisfied. Mrs. Carter will receive payment for both policies. What will you do now, Chief? Nothing. I suppose I would have to go back to the boring old routine. But in a strange, selfish way, I am sorry that came to an end. Would you have dinner with me? I can't. I have to catch the plane in Zamboanga early tomorrow. Why don't you come over on the ferry with me and have the dinner there? I think I will. I have a pending case that I have not been able to attend to because of all this. Anyway, you owe me dinner.
Frank? Frank? I got here as soon as I could. No problem. I doubled back from Hong Kong, like you said. Caught a plane to Zambawanga, then over to this place, and here I am. Frank? By the way, you had a very nice funeral. Frank? It's not Frank, honey. Then it is you. You son of a bitch. Why did you say it was Frank? I had to protect myself. It's been a year. I didn't know what you might do. But you came anyway. A girl has to take care of herself. You know, I have figured it was you. Frank never would have thought of something like that. And he certainly wouldn't have sent for me. I see you're all broken up over your husband's death. Now, don't you give me that crap. He was your friend. And you know as well as I do, it was all over between us. What's this for? To profit. And greed. And the insurance money. To lovely Laila's dowry. To the Moro treasure. Treasure? You mean there really is something out there? That's right, there really is. And we're going to take this old tub over to Barcelon tonight, and I'm going to go back down and get it. Huh. Treasure. 
Well, I'll be damned. You know, I wondered why you wanted me to come all the way down here instead of meeting in Hong Kong or Honolulu. You have anything for me to wear? Behind you. You know, I always thought you and I could make something. But, but how did you do it? I mean, with the net and those men in the boat. One of those men is in my coffin. They buried him with Frank. You see, I grabbed onto an outside net line. Towed along behind the boat. About five miles out, they stopped. Never figured I was right there with them. Anyway, after it was over, that's when the idea came to me. What if they thought Frank and I both were dead? The insurance money would go to Frank, and everything that's Frank's would go to little old Janice. Uh-huh, but that's not all. The government takes half of any salvaged treasure, if they know about it. But they do know about it. Kapunin told me about it in Manila. He also told me about Frank and those girls. Is that really true? And that mumbo-jumbo about a virgin princess. I could hardly keep a straight face. Never mind that. All you've got to worry about is doing exactly what I tell you. As soon as it's dark, we'll stop at Zamboanga for supplies. We'll be in Barcelona by morning, sitting in a quiet lagoon like this one. For how long? Until I think it's safe. Then we'll go get them. But what? You still haven't told me what it is you found. Close your eyes. I guess I might as well let you see what we're doing this all for. It might whet your appetite, although that's never been one of your problems. Oh, Larry. They're delicious. And this is just an appetizer. So this morning at the airport when you arrived. So? Uh, may I join you? Suit yourself. It is not often that we get attractive visitors. Will you be staying long in Sambuanga? Just passing through. You know, it's strange, but this morning when I saw you, I could have sworn you were Eurasian. But uh, obviously you're not. You are expecting someone. Do all the tourists get investigated around here? <laughs> not really. Do not put too much weight in this uniform. Like you, I am just passing through. Uh, sa kanya, sa kanya, sa kanya, sa kanya. Excuse Where is the young lady with me? Uh, she lives with somebody. In that case, give me a double scotch. Good morning. How much longer before we get there? A couple of more hours. You know, this is kind of nice. Clean it up, chain on it. Where'd you find that? Down below with the rest of the stuff. Worth anything? Nah, just a piece of old junk. Let me have it. Why? Well, because, uh, 
because I promised it to a guy back in Manila, okay? Now, let me have it. No, I think I'll keep it for myself. Janice, let me have the damn thing. If you want it that bad, you'll have to come get it. If you think you're big enough. Very funny. <laughs> Should have seen your face. <laughs> oh, damn, you almost crawled right into that fire. Your dead princess come back to life, huh? <laughs> Take that off. What? All of that junk. Take it off and put it back where you found it. Well, what are you getting so mad about? I'm just having fun. Yeah, well, you had your fun. Now take that off and put it back. Or to death around this damn place. Three days. How much longer are we going to sit around here? We're not. We're going in the morning. You mean it? There's been nobody around for a couple of days. I think it's clear. Now, that's the best news I've heard all day. Yeah, I feel kind of good about it myself. You know, this place has been giving me the willies. Now, why don't you take this stuff off? I'll buy a drink. Why don't you help me? Janice? Janice! hell have you been? Walking. I went walking. In the middle of the night? I couldn't sleep, so I went walking. You are soaked. It was warm. I went in the water. Are you all right? I mean, you didn't see anybody or run into anything. I just felt like walking. This place is getting the both of us. I'll be glad to get those pearls tomorrow and get out of here. I'm tired, very tired. I'd like to sleep now. Okay, come on. We've only got a few hours before we sail. Hey, you got that straight? Right. I got it. Two sharp jiggles. Means the net is full and I should pull it up. That's right. If I see anybody coming, 
I pull up the slack, give the line several sharp jerks, I untie the net line and let it sink. Then I say, my body are the pearl. And if they're really cute, I'll give them both and leave you to play by yourself. Okay, okay, that's enough. Now, what about the emergency signal? All right, the emergency signal. That's a continuous series of jiggles. And I take a tank and follow the line down. Well, I need more air. Don't worry. I remember all of that from when I used to die with them. See anybody I know? Give them my best. 